circumstances abroad in music, greetings and a hearty welcome back to Kate Middleton and the Queen News YouTube channel after suffering a headache while attempting to enter into the celebrity sphere. It's great to be back among you all, talking about the problems with the rogue couple and the royal family. Renegade royal experts now say that Harry's stress-induced baldness is the result of his failure as a wannabe American celebrity, after he abandoned his family. The hair transplant specialist at Specs Air, Spencer Stevenson, observes that Harry seems to be experiencing more issues than just male pattern baldness, and he believes this is due to his family's conflict-related anxieties. The significant amount of stress Stevenson claims he must have experienced in the last few years will have had an adverse effect on his hair. Adding to his male pattern baldness is undoubtedly the bond with his estranged family. All of the talk regarding Harry's hair has been sparked by two recent images. He appeared in an advertisement for the mental health website with a headshot and a full head of luxurious hair. Better off, yet a few weeks prior, Stevenson claims that we observed him to have considerably thinner hair when out shopping in Tokyo. In other news, a source claims that King Charles is reluctant to speak with Harry. There could be a few different reasons for this, and one could wonder what a monarch of 15 countries would have to discuss with someone who resigned from supporting his own father. Harry most likely used thickening fibers from the product Nanogen for that photo of him with a lot of hair. Since Harry is more than willing to share his thoughts on what was said or what he intended to say with the world, it is clear that he does not see any conversation as truly private. It has also been acknowledged by Harry that his memory is not the best and that he frequently retracts statements he has made in public. Harry asserts that these alterations are never the result of miscommunication but rather of misreporting by the media, it only takes him a few years to realize this. For example, Harry resigned from his position as a working royal but continued to expect to be paid an allowance from his father because the latter wanted to give him the opportunity to launch a new career. However, it appears that this arrangement was only temporary, lasting until Harry decided he was established and would not be returning. King Charles and Queen Camilla have a packed agenda, which leaves Harry with little time to himself. As a result, Harry spends a lot of time concentrating on these alleged slides, publishing his thoughts at that point. He attacked the Perry family head-on when they were preparing for Prince Philip Perry's death and he continued to do so while attempting to take advantage of the benefits that came with their position. That is illogical. Harry also told the whole world that he was a lay queen's favorite grandchild that he was her confidant that she could tell him things she couldn't tell other people and he had to make sure that she was being properly advised at the time though Harry lived 6,000 miles away and he had very little to possibly no contact with her both Charles and William on the other hand were frequently in contact with the lay queen, as were other members of the family people who were still working on behalf of the monarchy but Harry from his way off location and thanks to his very limited communication believed that he knew what his grandmother wanted he understood her interests better than anybody else seems like Harry just wanted to ignore the fact that when he left he left a lot of extra work for other members of the family they had to take on that work but they were the ones that he thought were giving his grandmother such bad advice and then there were other things that happened to but there Similar so they just repeat the same story over and over again it seems like Harry thinks he should have the same rights as his older brother, but he won't be doing any of the job right now, and any correspondence the king has with Harry will most likely end up being made public, with only Harry's viewpoints expressed. The king invited Harry to significant family gatherings, does he want private conversations to remain private, as most of us do? or does he want them to be taped and subsequently broadcast around the globe with only a biased perspective being reported? Harry really started demanding all of this stuff for his attendance, but he was ignored because, well, Harry was irrelevant. As a result, Harry would show up without his demands being met, and if they did, it would be at the level of personal interaction. Given Harry's history, it's likely that his version of the private conversation will be included in his next book, interview, or whatever. If not before, Harry and Meghan had insulted and attacked the king and queen, the heir, his sister-in-law, and the king and queen. It seems like Harry really believes he is justified in attacking his family, but they can't even stand up for themselves. It makes sense to me why the monarch is unwilling to recent speeches that Harry and William gave in support of the charities they sponsor were intended to educate the public about the good work being done by the charities. 
However, Harry's speech was all about himself, and he attempted to relate that to the Invictus participants. But why would they have cared? In his speech, William emphasized the volunteers' excellent job and the long-term advantages of their efforts. In order to help the employees receive more credit for their job, William presented himself as a facilitator. It is fantastic to see that William knows when to step aside and how to lend assistance to those who need it. It's a damn shame that no one cared to tell that man baby no sooner in his life. I am aware of Harry's numerous issues as a child. In general, he drank too much beer, he was also using narcotics. It is shocking to me how low he has fallen since he met and married that wicked witch, even though there have been numerous instances of misbehavior. He was a beloved member of the royal family.